We got some cheese, we got some pepper, we got some sour cream. Let's get some pico, perfect bite, perfect bite. All right, cheers. What's up, hungry people? Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, we're gonna be making some nachos. To start, pan's already hot, it's nonstick. You don't have to add oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of canola oil. Heat is on medium. I'm gonna start with sauteing a little more over. Sauteing, so maybe the beginning stages of caramelization. That's where I want these. So we have a quarter of a sweet onion, bell pepper, red and green, into the pan. To that we're gonna add a dash of salt. All right, excuse the glare. While this is cooking, I'm gonna put some chips in the oven to get, to get warm and kind of reheat them. This is the brand I'm using today. You use whatever brand you like. When they look like that, just add a little bit of chili powder and a couple dashes of cumin. Eat now, low to medium. And we're gonna be one pan wonders today. I'm always a fan of it, you know it. We're gonna add a two tablespoons of butter. We're gonna be making a roux here. Now with the roux, you want equal parts butter, equal parts flour. So I'm gonna add little by little here. And you wanna whisk to cook that flour, raw flour taste out. Now while I'm whisking in the background, what we have here is habanero jack cheese. She's gonna add a little layer of spice. I'm excited for that. And we have Wurgler Old oh, Just Sharp Cheddar Cheese. And always the star of the show, we have about five slices of American cheese, which is gonna make this come together really nicely. If you're not a fan of American cheese, what's wrong with you? If you're not a fan of American cheese, I guess that's okay too. Half and half, about a cup. There we go. Slowly adding the milk, or half and half, heavy cream, whatever have you. Making sure, there we go. Once it starts to look thick enough like that, it's a good sign. Pour some more in. There we go. All right, I'm gonna start with adding cubes of American cheese. All of it, all of it, there we go. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add our secondary and third cheese component, about more than half. The rest of the cheese we're gonna add. It's looking good. Pinch, pinch, some black cracked pepper. Not too much. I want the cheese to shine through. Add some canola oil. And to my left, I have about a half a pound of flat iron steak. You're gonna add it thinly sliced. Once it's about halfway cooked, and it's gonna cook fast. Right here, I have some consomme from a past test trial recipe I was doing. Um, actually, I lost the footage, so you guys weren't able to see that. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to our flat iron steak. So we're gonna let this reduce down and thick it up a little bit 
And then we're gonna put it to the side. Put her in a container. Try not to get it all over the counter. We have our warm chips. Jeez. Jeez. Beef. That is still very hot. Prepped. Vajita mix. Yes, 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 yes. I made some pico earlier. It's been sitting. If you want to see how I made it or how I make my pico, let me know. I got you on the video. It's pretty simple. I actually made this pico with parsley instead of cilantro because that's all I had. We have some green onion. The Yep. Not gonna add lettuce yet. Our next layer of chips. Cheese. Our meat. Our pepper mixture. Some of our bacon de gallo. Lettuce. Last but not least, we have some sour cream. Some Cholula. All right, hungry people, let's go ahead and get myself a taste for you all. We got some cheese, we got some pepper. We got some sour cream. Let's get some pico, perfect bite, perfect bite. All right, cheers. <laughs> the sweetness of those caramelized fajita mix. The tartness from that consomme with that spice, the Cholula. Wow, that queso to bring it home works. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thanks for joining me. If you want that consomme bria recipe my, done my way, Hit me up in the comments and I'll go ahead and show you that so you can recreate this exactly. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's eat.